in your face in every place that I'll be going. I read your words like black hungry birds read every sowing. Rise and fall, spin and go, and my name is Carnival. Sad music in the night sings a scream of light out of chorus. And voices you might hear appear and disappear in the forest. Okay, welcome back to another video, people. And today we're going to be talking about a photographer's favorite, and that is Henri Cartier Bosson. His talent is undeniable, and we can learn so much from him, from his philosophy, from his work, and just from admire admiring his images. And so today is an episode of books, and we have. Um, the Europeans by Cartier-Bosson. It was a recommendation and this book is actually a very affordable edition, which I'm going to be leaving links to down below. And down below in the pinned comment, you'll, you'll also find links to the giveaway that we're doing currently on a channel that is the Polaroid now. So, you know, make sure that you participate in that. But without further ado, you know, let's just buckle up, grab a drink, make yourself comfortable and let's go straight to another video. Okay, so there's many things to be considered when we talk about composition. And composition is the way the elements of a certain image are arranged in very basic terms. However, there's a very important element that is not often as talked about, and that is perspective. And this is something perhaps more relevant or apparent in painting. But the truth is that perspective in photography is quintessential, since perspective is the sense of depth or special awareness and relationship between the different elements of an image. And so it can define a tone, it can define the type of portrayal and the proximity we also have with the subject. And visually speaking, perspective can dictate pretty much everything since it can give a greater depth and dimension to your images. And so with perspective, it can of course be affected by the different angles we take or the different lenses we might use. But nonetheless, it's good to observe the perspective a certain photographer takes in relation to its subject. And Cartier-Bosson, when we break down some of his images, seems to me at least that he is a master when it comes to this, since his compositions do establish leading and secondary lines, as well as depth of field and different elements in the background and foreground that definitely turns his images more interesting and removes the idea of possible flatness. And so, of course, when we talk about perspective, we can't ignore um, a basic of composition that is light. And I feel like light definitely influences because how many times have you not stopped and noticed something because of the way light is, um, you know, inciting in that specific landscape or in that person or, you know, like how the contrast is created between the light and shadows. And so light can define where you're going to stand, how high or how low, um, you know, the angle is that you're going to, you know, photograph. And so I feel like when we look at certain images by Cartier-Bresson, such as the old port in Marseille, photographed around 1932, or Hotel du Invalide, in Paris as well, photographed in 1969, among others, we can definitely observe a mastery of recognizing the properties of light and how this can be played to our advantage as photographers, at least in my opinion. And so with Cartier-Bresson and this book in particular, I learned that light has many qualities, not just the purpose of illuminating a scene, but it can also act as a character when we identify patches of it that can highlight something or someone. And light can be expressive or used artistically as it can be played with texture to create or give an image a certain soft, low, contrastic texture, or alternatively, it can contribute to a harsh, super contrasted look. And so what this means is that we definitely need to profound as photographers our knowledge of light and how we can use that for our advantage, whether that is in creative work, at a studio, or just around us, how we can benefit from 
trying different angles and seeing how the same light can create different effects in our photo or even like for instance trying out different lenses and see what it does for our pictures. And this is of course one of the main takes I got from this book. In popular culture there's been books written, films made and paintings completed on this subject but what exactly is human condition? And so when I researched what this could be, I came across definitions like part of being a person or the totality of the experiences of being human and living human lives. So this means emotion, hardship, trauma, pain, existentialism, joy, living and dying, because it's all part of the process of life and being human. And so this book and Cathy Besson's images, generally speaking, do showcase this essence of being human and the signs life lives in us people. Signs of aging, signs of hardship, scars, trauma. And so expressions, details, smiles and tears, it's to me what elevates his photography because it's not just formally speaking really good, but in terms of subject or content wise, these images are incredible as well, no matter where or when he photographed. And so I believe we can take much from capturing human condition like Brisson did, because ultimately we also learn with the experience of capturing it and with the people we meet and the sights we see in order to grow not just as artists, but as humans. And so this is both a question, a thought and a lesson. And that is because when I was going through the book and I was, you know, going through certain images and also doing my research, I kind of were, there were a few images where I thought, how would these images look in color? Would they still retain this sort of like energy, tonality, power about them if they were in color? Now, obviously, this is a question I don't have an answer to because I don't have a color negative or an image to compare the images to. But this definitely led me to think that maybe it's good for me as well as a challenge and to learn to see, you know, and to learn the different skills of shooting with black and white and color to probably shoot more black and white and probably do this comparison myself. And so to black and white or not black and white is, of course, a little Shakespearean joke that basically propels both me and you to not be afraid to experiment with black and white. And if you have some color images you'd like to see as black and white, why not go ahead and experiment and see what changes with that image and what can we learn from the differences or the similarities between certain images when we strip them of their color. And if there's another thing you can compare and check on the advantages, disadvantages, the differences is probably between buying new gear and buying used gear. And I feel like if you're looking for, you know, affordable prices or at least some help in order to do that, in order to add something to your workflow, whether that is, you know, an accessory, you know, or a camera or, you know, on the reverse side of the coin, maybe get rid of something that you've been using and that is really not for you or maybe that is just like, taking space on your shelf. MBB is the best platform for that because you can get, you know, all sorts of information there. You can, you know, also check prices. You can get an affordable, you know, camera or anything that you're looking for and also quotes for what you're trying to get rid of. And with that, you repurpose your gear so it can land in someone else's hands that can give it a better use and contribute to a more sustainable future. And if you're a filmmaker, a photographer, or you're doing both, MPB has something for everyone, from medium format to compact or mirrorless cameras, as well as all sorts of lenses and accessories. So check out their website where they have their catalog and a bunch of really cool articles to get more information on both trading, but also gift ideas and photography in general. And thank you, MPB, for kindly sponsoring this video. And now let's find out what Lesson 5 is all about. And one thing that is recurrent and that I've observed throughout this book is the composition around the human element, meaning gestures, touches, or body parts, like arms pointing at something, heads, you get the idea. And this book is a masterclass on that. And so for those that photograph around people or crowds like street or documentary photographers, I think this book is a must, as well as generally speaking, studying Cartier-Bosson's work because it teaches us that composition is something fluid and it's not as rigid as one might be inclined to think. And so these images show us that 
As photographers, we need to be flexible and follow the natural rhythm of the scene. And I love this gentle reminder. And for sure, this resonates with me. And so this has been all for today. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. And, so, and also thank you to MPB for supporting the channel. I truly appreciate that. Truly appreciate the opportunity. And this has been, you know, a really good journey with this book. I think it's a great addition to any bookshelf at all. Whether you're just starting a collection, where you just like, you know, like me, you just don't have a proper collection, but you just go through books and you learn as you go. Um, I feel like it's a good book for everyone. And it's quite a dense book. There's a lot of images to go through, a lot of lessons to take, and I highly recommend it. And if you want to leave recommendations for more books down below, you can do it, um, or suggestions, or leave your thoughts about the video if you'd like to do so. Um, and yeah, I'm on the lookout for more books, especially in the new year. Definitely want to bring some books to the channel and talk about some different things. So I hope, you know, you stay put and you keep, um, you know, on this journey with me. And so thank you everyone. And also thank you for picking up prints. If you do want to do so, down below will be um, a link to my print shop. There's currently the code for 15% off. That's early Christmas, um, even though we're near Christmas now. Um, but yeah, it'd be extremely helpful and I'm forever grateful for the opportunity. And so yeah, I guess that, you know, it's been all for today. I'll catch you in the next one. So stay safe, keep shooting film, digital, whatever you do. Subscribe for a cookie. Peace. It's carnival. Sad music in the night Sings a scream of light out of chorus And voices you might hear Appear and disappear in the forest Short and tall from the bow And my name is Carnival Strings of yellow tears drip from black white fizz in the meadow